Hang on, we need to twist it, we need to turn. Oh, we've got to lift it up. It's on there. Lights, because they work really well. How come you're doing this first and not last, like? No, we'll just get it ready and put it there and then we'll... Oh, all right, okay. It's a windy one. I load it. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Where are you going? The bin's over there. I'm thinking it's hard work. <laughs> right, we're taking that for a road trip in a minute. Need to find some way of tying it down first, though. So we've got cattle to do before we do anything else. Right, so another morning back my place. Cattle won't need bed in this end today because I did them in the week to just scrape the fronts out. Plenty of silage here for them. And it's a uh, lady's birthday. Are you 37? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Where's the one that had the funky eye? One, one, two, he's over there. He's fine now. Like so we'll jab this one in the eye. Oh yeah, look, proper. Much better. Much better, aren't you? I decided not to uh, use eye tubes and just went straight for the antibiotics and steroid in the eye sort of jabbed it in the eyelid and that's cleared it up absolutely proper all right you guys need a couple bales of bedding calves all looking happy you went cow loads of muck oh so much muck Ugh. where's that midden all right well might as well get on with it i suppose start shutting them back storm kathleen is sweeping across the nation at the moment we're taking that to get that filled up with something um, after we've done the work here, you'll see that. I've also bought some mineral buckets for the calves because I'm well aware they're not getting any minerals. And what we're going to put in the tipsy bin won't have minerals in it either. So bought a couple of these mineral blocks from Molaven in Crediton wow. yesterday. We'll put them here to see what the cattle make of them. Normally they have a tab somewhere, don't they? Look at this. Get that down there, out of the way. Break that tab. Take them with us because there you are, cow. You got a mineral block. Put that over there with our recycle pile. So yeah, mineral. Just a general purpose mineral block. Here we are, mole even mineral bucket. Feet and fertility, mag rich, dry cow. These are all the different ones they do. I think this is just a um, general purpose mineral bucket. Say on the end here. Everything that's in it, so vitamins as well. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, phosphorus. Um, do not feed the sheep, so this is not a sheep one. Must have copper in it or something. There you are. Dry copper. Copper. But yes, minerals are very important not to be overlooked, so we want to make sure they're getting some. These were, I think they were 23 pound each. 23 quid per block mole even. Yeah, that one's in there already. I've never ever seen one before. Yeah, you get in there, Cal. So I'm hoping they'll last a little while. Obviously, there's only nine cattle. Put one in each pen. Recycling! But yeah, it's about a pound a kilo. If that's good value or not, I don't know. Right, anyway. The track the fire up. Now I put those blooming buckets in front of them. They won't want to go backwards. Probably should have waited and thought after we've done the work to put those out. Good thinking. Molly, look. <laughs> Which pen's he from? I think it's that one. 
Pretty sure he's this oh, one. Oh, he's this one? Okay. Right, unhook that. Finish bedding up for the morning. Let's go and pick up this stuff for the tipsy bin now. It'll be the first time we've used the pallet forks on this machine as well when we come back. Oh, there's a bleeding great wasp there, look. Ooh. Right, look where we are. Everyone's favorite research facility. Um, I've just gone and got the Weybridge box because I've got to weigh myself empty and full, obviously, so I know how much um, rolled wheat I'm purchasing off of Rothamsted for feeding my cattle. I don't look too close about how that's strapped down, but we made it here. There's a ratchet strap that will come in handy in a minute. I'm guessing this is going to have no battery. Oh, power, 88%. 84. It's telling me there's no response from the weigh cells, which is correct because they're not plugged in. Right, I've plugged it all in again. So let's see what happens here. Hooray, zero. Right, I think we're all ready. So I've got to drive over the weigh bridge. It's telling us that there's a green light, look, that's what we got. I can't see a green light. On there. Oh, over there. Yeah, it's Sorry. got a red cross now. Yeah, that's because we're on it. So we've got to wait for it to weigh this. And then that'll go green again. In a minute, hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, and then we weigh the trailer. What's 2.35? Oh, it's gone out. Why has it done that? We might have run out of battery. It's not very good if it's run out of battery, is it? Run out of battery! What? Does it charge up? Ran out of battery. So you're gonna have to do all that again then. Hey? You have to do all of that again. Yeah, it's got. Have you got a new battery? Well, I can plug it into the mains. Well, have you done that? No, I'm not gonna get an extension to do that. Just testing your reversing skills. Oh. Right. BRB. Try again. Good old mains power. Can't beat it. Ready for take two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got that red cross again. Right, so we are 2.89 tonnes empty. I've got the Manitou here and the bucket. What I'm going to do is put the bin on the floor beside the heap of wheat here, which is what we're buying, so it's rolled wheat. Um, yeah, that's what we're buying, rolled wheat. And then we're just going to tip some in near it so that if we make a mess we can just sweep it up afterwards. Right, I'm going to park it there because this is the side that the holes are on for the pallet forks to go in. We want to load it up in a minute. Let's get rid of that broken bucket. That's not helping anyone or anything here. Hopefully I did that without covering you in dust. Well, there we are. There's a little bit of silage in there somewhere. They can keep that. Now, I think I'm right in saying these bins can hold up to like three quarters of a ton. Um, this is quite bulky and light, so it'll be interesting to see how much is in there. I'm hoping for about half a ton. What we'll do is we'll just tuck all this bit that we spilt over into the corners. Well, I reckon we got about the perfect amount in there. Nice level. Bin full. Let's move all that out. Right, we'll get the lid on, and then I need to put the pallet forks on this, lift that up, put it back on the trailer. I need to put a couple of pallets on the trailer, because when we get to the other end, um, I obviously need to be able to get over the lip of the trailer to lift it off again. So I realise now I actually messed up because I put the pallets on the trailer after I'd weighed the trailer empty. So I weighed the trailer empty, put the pallets on, put the rolled wheat onto the pallets, and then weighed myself again. So I actually end up paying for the weight of the pallets. Does that make sense? It's an idiot thing to do. I've done it. 
can't go back on it. I'll only do it once. And clean this up, leave it all nice and tidy, and then weigh it again. Now, I know I asked everyone what they thought would be the best thing to feed the animals in the last video. Um, and I did look into all the things you suggested, all the various um, sort of beef, nuts, and grower pellets, and sort of pre-made mixes. I just spoke to Bruce, the farm manager here. I said, would you be open to selling me some wheat? Obviously it's on the doorstep. It's easy to come and get. We've got a Weybridge here, so I know exactly what I'm buying. Um, and he said, yeah, so that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's um, working really well here for the cow we've got. So no reason it can't work well for our cattle. Anyway, let's get this tidied up. I think you're better off having it that way. Like, it's just a bit further over the edge that way. Like it. Big throw required. Got it. And we're going to hope that it looks a bit more substantial. It's twisted up top. It's fair to say this will be strapped down a fair bit better than it yeah. was on the way here. It couldn't have been strapped down much worse, could it? Well, <laughs> your opinion. Phil was very cleverly got these D shackles here, but. Are you doing one the other way as well? Possibly. What I don't want to do is start tipping it. Designed to tip. That's fairly tight. Tighter than before, isn't it? Yes. All well, the lorry drivers will be going mad about how I'm tying that. And... Beautiful. And so have you got any lorry drivers that watch? You're not suggesting doing it to that. Not the rope, but the actual metal. The metal. And is there something at the back? Is it long enough though? This is a much longer strap. Yeah. Is there one up front, is there? Intercept that and that, but... When you say we... We bent the little bit. I think you're the one that have the input in there. This is the most secure load this trailer's ever seen. <coughs> oh. You okay? Where are you meant to be doing it on? That bit or that bit? Oh, you think that's going to do that? Oh, I reckon you can still do that a little bit more. That's alright, I like that. I hope the cows like this. Safe as houses, that is, mate. Go away, it's right. What I am going to do, because there is absolutely no string at fill. That'll go flying everywhere, this stuff. So, this here. I'll tie that up in a minute. There's a distinct lack of bale cord at fills. So whilst we're beside the bale cord bin, we're going to help ourselves. Why don't you have bale cord? Uh, bales are bale cord on. Yeah. All that is coming back to the Because when I wanted something to tie that down with, I didn't have them. Right, you want me to tie this off in a fashion? Yeah, because else it's just going to go flying everywhere, isn't it, I think? I think you've spilled a bit. That's what was on the fork. How about that for tying it off? So yeah, right. Let's go weigh it. Put on any weight, just 2.24. That's a different number. Wasn't it 2.32 before? Change where the weight is. Uh, 1.15. So what? What was it before? We were like 2.89 before, I think. And what are we now? I don't know. We'll find out. I'll yeah. pull up here to put some air in the old tyres, and we'll go. And yeah. Um. I can't remember which one I said looked like it needed some air. Which one this side? Was it? 
I never told you how much was in the bin. It was exactly 500 kilos. Well, that's what our weight difference was. So some of that is the pallet that I stupidly put on in between the weighing. But yeah, 500 kilos. I'll put the little um, pictures up on the screen now so you can see we were 2.89 empty, 3.39 full. We made it. Obviously never in doubt. Definitely didn't have to stop to uh, redo the straps. None of that. I think it will. It should do, shouldn't it? Oh, it'll lift it. It's, it's got floppy forks. Oh, you want to lift that off? No. Okay. Oh, there's Molly. Molly's on the tractor. Molly. Hey, Mama. How are you doing? Tractor cat Molly. Are you going to get off? Come, mate. Can you jump down? Molly, it's probably best to get down. What? Yeah? That's it, good girl. No, not on the wheel. Sit down. That's it. Good girl. Come on then. Good girl. Where did the bucket go? The back of the truck. Oh. First use of the tipsy bin. Here's the lid. Bear in mind, these animals have never seen any sort of supplementary feed whatsoever. We're going to start them off with not a lot. Commandeered this half broken bucket, feeding them with. We're just going to give them a Level bucket full. One today. Here, cows. They don't. They don't know what the bucket call is. They have no idea what's going on. This one's going for it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is that nice? Oh no, come in. Oh no, then blew it. The girls are keener than the boys. The girls have found it. Yeah. They do tend to be more intelligent, of course. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll give them credit for that, yeah. Oh, the boys are a bit slower. Is that nice, cows? Oh. Oh, that one's scared of it. <laughs> it's been a big change for the cows today. They've got lick buckets and wheat. Yeah. Then what's happened? You couldn't have made that more hard work for yourself. No, I realised I pushed the gate the wrong way. I think they'll all run back there if you go in. Well, this one's loving it, and that's actually the steer we put in there with the heifers. So I think you need to take back. No, no, I, I was the one that said. I was the one that said girls are more intelligent. Molly, do you like wheat? Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. <laughs> Molly the cat. Oh, Molly. So fluffy. I reckon by the time we come up next week to feed them, the weekend, they'll be here shouting we haven't fed them the weed. Just see how they go. But this is where the bin's gonna live. 
Um, so we've only got to go from there to there. If we turn them out, we can take the bin to the field as well. And so it's all there handy with them. Don't think anything will get in here. It's got the lock on the front and there's a couple bolts on the back. Stop the back coming off, which is good. One final job is to take this trailer off. Because I don't want to take that home with me. The heavens have opened again. Get ready for a reversing masterclass. Right, we're done. We're gonna go and celebrate Abby's birthday. Well, what's left of the day is <laughs> mid-afternoon now. Got me other two lick buckets there for when they finish the others. One last look at the cattle. There's one, two, three, four of them eating wheat. That's good. They found it. Happy birthday, Abby. Right, let's bounce. Saying goodbye? Yeah. Goodbye. Laters. <laughs> Laters.